So this is a video about um, a broken tumble dryer. So um, we've got this uh, condensing tumble dryer, which is uh, by the brand called Beko, and the model number is DCU8230. Now this was happily working away uh, yesterday when um, halfway through the drying cycle, it just pretty much gave up. Um, all of the lights on the control panel uh, disappeared and it pretty much shut down. Um, so the weird thing was is that opening the door um, showed that the light came on, meaning that there was power going to it so the fuse in the plug hadn't broken. Um, so it led me to believe that there's an issue with the control panel. Um, so in order to get this out, I'll just quickly run through um, what you need to do. So to get this thing open, first off what you need to do is take the top cover off and there are three screws which I've already removed which are located here, here and here. Once you've done that, you should just be able to slide this thing off and you can get into the machine. So the next part, removal, we come around to the front is uh, some removing some screws from here, here and here. And then also on the uh, water tank, um, there is an additional screw down here which you need to take out. And after that, you should be able to lift this thing up and then the control panel will come off like so. The next stage is to disconnect all the wiring from the control board. You can see I've already done it here. Um, good thing to do probably would be to take some photos. Um, of the wiring before you disconnect it, just so um, you remember how to put them back on again, which uh, I've already done. So what we'll end up with is um, the control panel here. So, I mean, I've already kind of taken the screws out and stuff. There's ones running along the edge and it's kind of clipped in. Um, so you take this cover off here, which basically just has the um, program selector screwed onto that. Um, and then you end up with the circuit board itself, um, which basically clips in around the side and then lets you take it out. So the next thing to do um, is to go through, have a look at this and uh, find out what's wrong. So I've had a look at the board and uh, it's pretty much dead. Um, the issue seems to be a problem um, with the uh, DC sort of low voltage side so obviously we've got kind of AC coming in here um, going for a pretty sort of standard circuit um, and uh, what I found is is basically there's a couple of components that are broken uh, the first major sign was um, this chip here which uh, if, you, if I can get this to focus is an LNK 364PN uh, which is basically a sort of AC-DC uh, power switching chip uh, that's marked U1. Now the telltale sign was um, there was a bit of a smell coming off it and also it's quite hard to see but there was a little kind of brown streak almost like um, it kind of had a bit of an explosion and uh, and spat out some burnt contents onto the board. Um, I mean you can't really see it on here but uh, you could also see that there was some, some slight cracking. Uh, the other problem was a rather sad looking resistor here, which is a, I think this is a two watt, 13, eight or 39 ohm uh, resistor, which um, pretty much supplies power to, to this thing. Um, you can see that I've, I've already had it off and um, in doing that, it pretty much disintegrated. So that was in pretty bad condition as well. Um, also on the back, um, there's a small, uh, so I think you get about, um, from the, the chip that's broken up, I think so that pretty much goes from the AC down to the uh, converted to DC around 15 volts um, and it supplies this regulator which um, I've already taken off but it, this had pretty much gone short circuit. Um, so this is um, it's a 78M05 which is uh, basically a, a 5 volt regulator um, and just measuring this across the contacts it was short circuit. So those are the three things I found, um, which seem to be uh, in not so great condition. So those are going to need replacing. Um, I've already gone through all the other components 
uh, just made a note so I've looked at some of the diodes uh, around those faulty circuit uh, components and uh, just sort of done some tests with a multimeter and uh, just made sure that the capacitors are kind of within range um, and all the diodes and stuff are working um, so that's pretty much all I found for now so I've got those parts on order and uh, and I'll stick them in and see if we have any luck um, worst case um, you can still buy these boards uh, there's a few uh, websites here in the UK um, where if you put in the model number of your machine you'll be able to uh, get a hold of the um, required part and uh, they're about £60 but uh, the components I'm replacing the three I found probably run into uh, the region of, of a few pounds so I'm, I'm going to try that first and if that fails then I'll probably have to bite the bullet and uh, buy a new board but we'll see so yeah I'll come back um, next with uh, the parts fitted and we'll uh, go from there so it's been a couple of days now and uh, I got the new parts in the post so I'll replace the um, is it R4 resistor with the uh, 39 ohm replacement uh, replace the um, U1 which was the link 364PN so I've got a nice new one in there and then almost also replace the uh, 5 volt regulator the 78M05 uh, unfortunately uh, putting it in the machine is still dead um, so I suspect what's happened here and I did a bit of um, googling about this problem um, I'm pretty sure that this regulator went short circuit and I'm guessing that maybe <clears throat> a bit too much power went through this main microprocessor and I think it's probably dead um, which probably implies that there's uh, rather limited um, protection around it I think I have identified something down here um, which looks like a fuse which seems to run off the output of the regulator but that was still intact so potentially that hasn't done its job and it's uh, fried the chip so without having the schematics and stuff I'm not really sure what else I can do with this one so I've had to bite the bullet and order a new board so I'll have to keep this one a scrap um, so yeah we'll get the new board fit it and hopefully uh, get the dryer working so we'll wait and see what happens with the new board um, just when ordering the uh, there is a part number on here so I've managed to find one on eBay a um, bit cheaper than going to the uh, spares um, sort of shops and uh, hopefully uh, the part numbers are matching up so hopefully the um, programs and all that are compatible so we'll have to see but yeah never mind you win some you lose some uh, but uh, we carry on so yeah we'll report back once the new board has arrived okay so the uh, new board has arrived in the post um, looks pretty similar to the previous one so yeah I'm gonna stick it in the machine and uh, fingers crossed get it going again so yeah let's do that so good news is uh, the board went in and uh, seems to be working so that's fixed so putting the power on lights are coming back on hit the start button and off the dryer goes so back in business so yeah unfortunately uh, couldn't get the repair to work but uh, at least we've now got a working tumble dryer so the jobs are good. Cheers.